All right, rough draft time. Triple Innistrad round number two, and uh, we're going to keep this. We need a land because we have this silly Shimmering Grotto, but if we get one land, we get to Mulch. We have tons of Graveyard Fillers, so we'll give this a shot. The nightmare is we just never draw a land, and then we never do anything, but... Because if we get one land, Shimmering Grotto produces green mana, so... Or we could just draw a forest, and then life is spectacularly good. Uh, or another green two-drop. Shimmering Grotto, go. Well, come on, deck. Give us a green source. It's a Boneyard Worm. All right, well... Uh, okay. At least our opponent's not threatening us too much yet. Opponent's also passing. Well, that works. That is not the most beautiful way to make this happen, but since our opponent missed, we're just going to play Shepard here. Shepard and our opponent not casting a spell is a pretty easy way to just win the game. And Shepard and our opponent not casting spell, easy way to win the game. So we didn't get much information about our opponent's deck, but we'll take the ultra quick one minute win. Um, do we even change anything? Let's just run it back. We did not see a single card from our opponent's deck. Could be correct to bring in Gnaw to the Bone or something, but we just don't know at this point, so. Can't believe our opponent scooped that quickly. Ugh. Ugh. All right, we're going to... Hmm. We're going to keep this. Cage Breakers is a good payoff. We got all the lands out of the way. Ideally, we'll just draw some of our Graveyard Stalkers for the early turns. Delver of Secrets. All right, maybe we're regretting this. Oh, boy. That's how it always goes. You keep the ultra land heavy hand and then draw the land. No. No. All right. No Delver flip yet. Delver is not an... Oh, my goodness. I think we're getting janked out. Come on, Silent Departure, before this goes too crazy. We only have three of them in our deck. Oh, deck. It's the Nightmare. Yeah. Well, uh, we should have predicted that this is how it would go. Magic Online is sort of infamous for giving you more lands when you keep an already land-heavy hand. And now we're getting buried by this curiosity. Elder Cathar, sure. All right, well, Armored Scab at least is a card we can cast. Mills over, hopefully a bunch of lands. One land, Silent Departure, two creatures. All right, well, if they don't flip their Delver, we're at least putting an end to their aggression. No, not, no flip, no flip. All right, no flip. Now they need to kill our scab if they want to keep attacking. Mausoleum Guardian, sure. Come on, non-lands. Non-lands, non-lands. Deck. Oh, Moto. Moto, deck, someone. Someone, why you do this to us? All right, no flip yet. Opponent plays a land. Goes attacking. Well, let's block something. Opponent. Chapelgeist. Well, let's run out Cage Breakers. Pass the turn. That is a good threat here. If our opponent can't deal with it. Hopefully this Delver just continues to be unflippy. No flip. Opponent plays land. Gets in with Chapelgeist. Yup. Ooh, Splinter Fright. Hmm. Let's play Splinter Fright. Play Hamlet Captain. Play an Island. And we're just going to pass this turn. Try to get more Cage Breaker value next turn. Delver, no flips, no flips. Oh, they got it. Flips with a feeling of dread. That's actually pretty obnoxious. That's a way our opponent can keep from dying to this Cage Breaker. Gets in with a Delver, draws a card. Oh man, the horrible, horrible Delver is looking like it might pay off for our opponent. Ugh. Well, now we know what our opponent's doing. Just, uh, janky stuff. We mill... All right, there's the Feeling of Dread. Well, play the land, bounce the Delver, pass the turn. See how aggressive our opponent goes with this Feeling of Dread. Opponent goes attacking. Block, block. Yeah, let's block, block. Opponent gets to put counters on something. Goes with the Chapelgeist. We could use a removal spell or a way to stop this Chapelgeist. More flyers, uh-oh. That is a potentially lethal board of flyers. Splinter Fright, Mills. Well, let's go to combat, see if our opponent flashes back. They do. So no attack. 
depart the chapel geist play the land pass the turn so we're not dead this turn but we're still in super fragile shape opponent gonna get in for three. Oh, tax with everything hmm one two three four five six so i guess we actually gotta block here and hope the delver doesn't flip down to three because we can't have both this and the chapel geist be lethal because we need to have an out of drawing a flyer splinter fright mills Ooh, there we go there we go so go to combat attack attack make some wolves all right opponent kills one of our creatures unfortunately we get five wolves though opponent blocks with chapel geist so now we grasp of phantasms moon heron play the land silent departure on chapel geist pass the turn we know delver's not flipping because we just put the moon heron on top of our opponent's deck and now we are presenting lethal for next turn can our opponent stay alive is the question now i feel like the tides have turned and we still have flyers we can mill into or hit and we still have a silent departure in our graveyard there's a moon heron opponent reruns their stuff out there all right what do we draw we mill with splinter fright mulch so one two three four five opponent just scoops it up we got there Green Blue Graveyard, the power of the yard, overcomes the Fast Spirit Star. And uh, on to the finals of our Triple Innistrad Rough Drafts. Splinter is certainly fighting. <laughs> oh, D minus. <laughs> Be right back. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free. And you can find the next video right here.